Walker, Minister at the Department for Exit in the European Union. And we've had a series of useful discussions today with Fabian Picardo, the Chief Minister of Gibraltar, and his team to make sure that we are taking their views into account as we prepare for negotiations with the European Union. Um, we're working very closely with colleagues from the Foreign Office and the Treasury, uh, bringing in officials from the Department for International Trade uh, and the Department for Culture, Media and Support to, to, to make sure that we can uh, address Gibraltar's key concerns about market access and trade. We've reached some uh, useful uh, agreements today to ensure we can consult Gibraltar on future trading arrangements that Britain makes beyond uh, the European Union and to address their concerns and seek out the opportunities for Gibraltar uh, in this process. Uh, a very positive working environment has been established to make sure that Gibraltar's concerns are at the heart of our negotiating position and I'm looking forward to future engagements with Fabian Picardo and his team uh, as we seek to ensure that both Gibraltar and the UK uh, achieve a successful future partnership with the European Union. Today we've had a very constructive engagement with ministers from DEXU, ministers from the Foreign Office and even ministers from the Treasury. We had Robin Walker from DEXU, Sir Alan Duncan from the Foreign and Commonwealth Office and Stephen Barclay from the Treasury. All of them engaged in detailed discussions about how we ensure that future market access for Gibraltar, how Gibraltar is going to be represented in the negotiations uh, as part of the UK's negotiation uh, with the European Union. And also we've had the presence of uh, officials from the Department for International Trade about how Gibraltar is able to form part of the international trade agreements the United Kingdom does in the future and officials from uh, the DCMS department looking at gaming issues which are relevant to Gibraltar based operators. A very constructive, very positive meeting and very, uh, I think, uh, exactly the sort of full involvement that we would have expected in order to be able to ensure we protect Gibraltar's interests in the context of Brexit.